Hello everyone, and welcome back to our continuing expert tutorials uh, for MetaTrader. And this video is going to be focusing on the maintenance of the expert advisor uh, using Bitbucket and Sourcetree. I am Vishnu Punai, and the product owner and mentor is Dr. Masood Zahaji. So first off, I would recommend visiting this page here on Confluence. It lists a certain uh, number of things that you should be familiar with before working through this tutorial, uh, such as Bitbucket, Git, Sourcetree, Branching, etc. And you can review uh, this link here, which I will be posting in the description down below for easy access. So with that being said and reviewed, let's get started. So first you can, let's go to uh, Bitbucket. So if you're in Confluence, log into Confluence, it's the same uh, user identification. Just hit here, Bitbucket, and you're in Bitbucket. So first, as you can see on the right here, it's gonna list your recently viewed. As you can see, I was looking at the effort, Forex data folder, or we can head up here and you can see all uh, current repositories. In this case, I see effort Forex data folder, which is what we need. So let's go ahead and go into it. Okay. So as you can see, we're in the repository. Let's look for this particular EA, the self-optimizing trader. There it is. All right, and as you can see, we already have files, Let's go to experts effort and here it is and here's the first commit as i did when i first uh set this up and if you just click here you can see that this would be the code that i have worked with and uh placed here um i have everything in my comments and so on and so forth for this expert advisor so that being said, let's get into the gist of this tutorial here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a clone. So first you get up over here, so let's clone, click clone, and then clone in source tree. I'm just gonna ask you, uh, needs open application sent to open link. And it's gonna launch source tree it's gonna take a bit yes okay launches uh source tree so for the destination what we're gonna do is go ahead and so what we have to do is create a folder here let me just hit browse and for demonstrations purposes, I'm just going to create a new folder and I'm going to just name it demo repo and you can just select folder, folder, there we go, root, this is all good. And then just go ahead and click clone. And there we go. So now that we've done the cloning here, we can see our Bitbucket uh, server here is connected to the folder that we just created on the desktop. And we can see all the current branches in Bitbucket here. So what we have to do is go ahead and find the one we're working with, which would be the self-optimizing yeah, RSI trader. And uh, here it is. So, so what we're gonna do is right-click here and click checkout, and then we hit OK. And what that does is it's gonna load what we have in our branch into our local folder. 
So oh, we're always gonna go here. We're just gonna go here and desktop and where's it go? Okay, demo folder. And here we can see that it has loaded what we currently have in that branch. Q experts. My bad. I'm okay. Effort. And here it is. See? So you can just open this up here. As you see, it's the code I showed earlier when we opened it on Bitbucket. And what happens here is now, now that this is all merged into the repository, let's say we make a, a change here. Like I just put some comments here and I'm just going to put demo change, right? So yeah. Okay. So we hit the demo change and we're just going to hit save and if we go back to source tree as there, there we go. And as you can see, it has refreshed and it's going to, it's going to indicate here that we made some changes and now we have to commit it. So we're going to select state select. And now it's staged. So what we have to do is go to commit. And what we're going to do, we got to make a note. So you have documentation of what you've done or changed. So there's a nice flow of events when working on your code. So we're going to do is going to do for, we're going to split demo change for main main video and then we're gonna hit commit and then after commit we gotta push it to press push and what we're gonna do here is push machine and then let's go back now to the website here and we're gonna make sure first that we're under the correct branch. Yeah, so let's find, okay, here we are. And da, 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 commits, and you're gonna see all the history here of the commits, and I see we did this one a while back, and the commit that I just did, demo change remain video, it shows up right here. So we know that it works. Okay, so now let's go back to source. Mm -hmm. Experts. Experts. See? demo changed for main video here and it shows up because it's the one that we just did right so now okay so now we have to merge everything to the commit so we got to do is a pull request go to pull request and we're going to create a pull request and source is the branch we changed here um, so here it is and the destination is going to be the development branch because that's what we're working on I see development and we're going to do just hit continue here and we've seen this is the one we just did this is the one I first did when I created it and it lists you know what we've Done it, it shows a history. So, what we got to do now is got to tag Dr. Masood Sahaji here, 
and what we're going to do is now hit create. And as you can see, if you should deny a pull request, we have our history of commits, and that's that. So that's the basically the maintenance in working with uh, this EA. You've learned how to do the clone and the commits and the pull requests. So if you have any questions about this tutorial or inquiries, please contact me here at this email address. And if you have any overall project inquiries, please contact Dr. Masood Sahaji at this email address. Thank you.